Well, the Altarians are definitely going to get one of these planets. Unless they only send one transport and they somehow mess this up. I mean, Alioth has a lot of people. Alright, we're done with the turn. All the little chess pieces dancing around. I can't believe how long this series is. This is awesome. If I could figure out a way to actually screen capture... Oh, hello. I think I know what this means. You don't. Corks. Could you... Could you try not to fuck up so badly? I mean... You do know you were at war with those guys, right? Now, I know most of the galaxy was at war, but I mean... Come on, guys. You couldn't have surrendered to, like, the Torians or the Balans or something to just spike the universe? No, of course they couldn't. Oh, well. What do we need now? Man, there's still so many texts. There's not much point going for hyperwarp, except just to make it smaller, but I don't really care about that. Expert miniaturization will be cool. Large scale building, we can actually make large ships. Alright, we're going for a large scale building. <laughs> Just as I make a frigate class. I think the victories might be one of those short lived things. You are the TFV Midway. Yeah, we're going to need some more range on these things. Wait, no. Hmm. That's going to make Altaria slightly less of an appealing target. We might just go for the Torians. They're sitting out there. I'm sorry, is that 30 shields on that? Maybe we need more diplomacy. Aren't we relatively very good at diplomacy, though? Our incredible ability in diplomacy gives us a great advantage. But they're never willing to do the big business with me. That's fun. Not even the neutral civilizations. So the ones that aren't neutral use it as an excuse to hate me. The ones that are neutral... Man. When I don't give the AI my entire tech tree, they really can't keep up, can they? Where was the midway built? Oh, there it is. Huh. It's already halfway across known space. I'm cool with that. Almost literally, it'll take like three turns. Are we at peace now? Savor this peace, guys. And then there were six. These three are definitely ones I'll go after. Although really it's these two. These two are big enough to be good prizes, but small enough that they can't completely kill me. I like the Iconians. Although, you know, I might end up killing the Iconians, just... If they're not going to be allies with us, no matter what I do... And they're just going to sit there. Man, those are shields. We're going to need like a battleship just in order to pierce their goddamn shields TFV Saratoga I have no clue where to even put this fleet I don't know what to do next we gotta think fast I could go pick a fight with the Altarians but given how there, there's nothing there, I could just move the windfield scot down and take a couple of undefended planets. Did we ever find actual Altaria? I think it's probably somewhere around here. I don't remember too well. 
Man, I honestly just have no clue what to do right now. Here yeah, be Concordia. Ah. Uh, well, I mean, first of all, we start building constructors on planets that can't actually manufacture. So let's see where that is. I remember a couple places being okay. And Normandy's being built on Rusum. I'm probably going to uh, keep them doing that. We might as well build up a ton of invasion. You know what? Yeah. Might as well do that. Um, there you go. Elysium just can't make any more transports, so we'll just make warships. And it has crazy production. Very impressive. And once we're done in, uh, upgrading these to industrial sectors, it'll be even better. Ah. Uh, do I go for... I'll make, uh... Make infrastructure now so we can build more later. We gotta think in long terms. I need to get a scout up there to check if that really is just an influence starbase. That could be trouble. No, that's gonna be trouble. You are the TSV Gettysburg. Let's get some cross naming up in here. Alright. Ah, uh, fleet rally point there. Why not? Man, our ships are wicked fast, but individually, like 30 shields. What are we going to do against 30 shields? We really don't have an answer to that. And yet, I want to hit the Torians. I mean, I might as well just hit them. I mean, I don't know. All these galactic borders are so messy. It's like real space powers, where it would be just... Bits and pieces sprinkled every the hell where. Alright, let's actually look at the Thalans. We haven't actually seen them yet, I believe. Winfield Scott. Uh, we'll quarter our fleet here. Hey, we took Corks. Uh, we have like half the capital planets now. We got Drangai, Corks, Draft, Iconia, Earth. I don't think I'm leaving any out, but that's cool. Maybe a bit of peace is warranted after all this time. We can let our population levels regenerate a little so we can really, you know, it'll be good. Words. Let's just move everything for once. Man, everything has too much movement. It's like supervising uh, hyperactive AD kids. Man, the Altarians believe in peace and justice through force, I'll tell you what. They're like the Federation most peaceful happy people ever until you yank their chain at which point they fuck you up alright I guess we're done seriously why surrender to the Altarians I know it's just a random subroutine but I guess that was the first real bullshit surrender. Uh, the earlier one with the Yor was kind of understandable. And the draft one was actually welcome, so... This game is still just broken even in terms of bullshit surrenders. Usually it isn't this kind. 
That's weird though. Not that's kind of on a lower difficulty. I'm glad there's no like Autobomb Planets option. I would like to enjoy a bit of peace. I don't know. I'm thinking about ways to win. Too bad it's not like Master of Orion where all the nations of the universe just get together and they're like, yeah, we're going to vote on an Emperor of the Galaxy because uh, the game developers told us to. And so they just do that. And if they're the humans, you can win on like turn 30. It's, it's quite funny. Well, you know, sometimes the diplomacy is good and sometimes it's really not good. In terms of, like, usefulness in Master of Orion, because all of the alien races are complete 100% douchebags. Now, I know that's probably to make you not feel sorry when you genocide them, but I still don't know.